everybody, thanks for joining me for another One Man Review. Today I'll be taking a look at this book, Power Wash by Josh Pettinger. This is a self-published piece. Um, I was interested in this book, I liked it, and I wanted to see more from Josh Pettinger. So a quick review of Instagram showed that Josh Pettinger is just finishing up a series called Goiter, but he doesn't have all of the issues available. So hopefully that will be getting a collection. It looks like he's reprinting some of them, but you still wouldn't be able to get a whole run. This character, Tedward, here in this book seems like a character from the Goiter series as well. Uh, and I, I quite enjoy this story, even though it goes into like a kind of perverse area that's a little uncomfortable for me. Uh, I thought it was funny, but I, I really did enjoy the cartooning throughout the book. And, um, the, you know, the, the kind of vibe I'm getting is a bit Gilbert Hernandez, the nine panel grid. Some of the way, like, just the hatching is handled and things like that remind me of Hernandez. And just the kind of humorously perverse way that the story goes reminds me of a Hernandez uh, comic as well. So I, I like all of that, you know, like th this kind of hatchy stuff. Here's what I'm talking about that feels Hernandez to me, or even this kind of angle. And just some of the panel compositions. Uh, but anyways, it's an interesting story that takes a kind of unexpected turn, so I don't want to give it away totally, but the unexpected turn leads to some <laughs> perverse things that I'm not totally comfortable with, but it's still pr pretty funny comic. Uh, so you have this character, Tedward, here. Seems like kind of a schlub, loser, nothing really is happening in his life. Like I said, I'd like to get to know more about Tedward in the Goiter books, so hopefully there will be a collection of that. But Tedward seems to have a crush on this Lila character, or Elijah character, I'm going to say Lila, and... Um, uh, she she kind of rebukes his advances and you know that puts him into this spiral here where he's going to commit suicide and then this character comes along and is like hey you know like I could provide you a better life I could provide you a nice house like all these things and you get the sense that he's sucking him into a cult but he's basically telling him you can come be part of like the power elite you know we'll, we'll get you started and kind of sells him on that and even provides him like this really nice big house like hey we'll put you up you know you're gonna do some stuff for us he doesn't say exactly what he's gonna do but it's like you're gonna be working for this organization we're gonna introduce you to all these rich people it'd be great and they put him up in this house and you can see Tedward he's got like all the amenities he wants now but he's still very unhappy in life and I think that's an interesting lesson uh, and then just a lot of these nice again like Hernandez type of uh, Gilbert Hernandez type of compositions here and then you start to learn a little bit, you start to get a little bit more sense about what this activity that he's going to get into is. Uh, and then here we get introduced to basically the aspects of the job. And again, I don't want to give it away, but he's kind of given this suit and this strange power washer unit. And he's told that he's going to be performing a service for some very elite rich people. And that that will get him into the party. I don't want to go further than that. But uh, where it goes from there is kind of unexpected from where it starts. Obviously, you can expect power wash. You know, that he's going to be doing some power washing. Uh, but I didn't really see where the book was going. Maybe I wasn't paying paid enough attention. Uh, but where it goes is kind of shocking and kind of funny. And, um, you know, I, I think really at the heart underneath all of the kind of grotesque humor that's in this. That there is a message about like knowing not knowing your station that doesn't seem quite the right way to put it but kind of like what people would be willing to do to achieve ambition and that sometimes it's not worth it and so I thought that was an interesting little m message to be putting in here um yeah overall it's it's this project that I enjoyed I want to see more I don't 100 percent know how I feel about it I feel like if all of Josh Pettinger's work goes down the exact same lane as this like it doesn't explore a variety of territory I may not like it as much but it has me intrigued to see more so I'll say that if other people have read Goiter and read more of Josh Pettinger's work and could say in the comments whether the kind of type of humor that's in this is consistent throughout or if there's like a little bit more variety in his production or Give me some sense of what that is. I'd, I'd really like to know because I, I am interested in it. I do think Josh Pettinger is a good, powerful cartoonist, um, like in, in a lane of a heritage that I quite enjoy and appreciate. So curious to see more, curious to hear what you all think. Um, if you haven't got it, and especially if you do 
like something that's a little darker and a little saucier and it's like black humor, you know, then this would be a great book for you. If you enjoy what we're doing here on the channel and want to support us, there's two ways to do that. The first is through our Patreon. We have a couple different tiers of support that you can back us with there. Any of the money that we make from Patreon just goes back into the books that we buy. It helps us buy these so we can share them with you and give you things to consider buying. So we appreciate that. And then if you want to support Living the Line itself, the best thing to do is to support some of the books that Sean has put out through Living the Line Publishing. So we'll go ahead and take a look at one of those now. Centralia is an awesome, gorgeous uh, comic by rising Dutch star, Neil Vanapiet. This is his first work. It's a really great sci-fi story. There's a world in the future where the sun has gotten so hot that people can't be on the ground. Uh, so they have to run around. There's a lot of conceits that go with that. You know, what is the world that that looks like? Um, and I think you can see by the art that Sean's description of this book as like a Moebius for young adults, a YA Moebius is a really great description of this really gorgeous and like wild, wacky, fun book. Thanks for following along. Take it away, Jack.